Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia Competition by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griff? Well, <laughs> Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers are your champions. Unbelievable. You don't even know California! <laughs> Uh, the movie's called Get Fucked. Oh, 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 yes! Of the dozen seasons oh, of Town Hall. Oh, All right, it's the dozen match. 288 of season three of the dozen match. 74 overall. Uh, the final match of the week, you uh, you watched on Tuesday, the Baddies scored two points in the 12th round to beat the Yak, 13-12, to 12, uh, and it come from a crazy match. Damn. Uh, both teams stole the other team's doubles. Uh, Sounds like a good then... one. Wish, wish I could have watched it without knowing what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Fran, I always say that. But Damn, sounds, you can't like a, sounds like a real good one. Ruined. Excited to watch. <laughs> I saw it. It was fine. Well, here you go. Nobody, we don't, we haven't recorded the ZD Your Mom match yet on Wednesday. Perfect. Uh, first, <laughs> first time they've played since the tournament uh, when Clem pulled out the Sandy's answer. Uh, so, yeah, end of the week here. Battle for the Crown Six. Number one, the experts. We'll get into it in a second, Brandon. Hang on. Uh, taking on the Honkers, who are ranked number six, four, three, and oh. Number uh, one by a mile. This. What? Can you just add in by a mile, number one? By a, by a by a wide a wide margin. A girthy You're margin. only as good as your last match, and we're going to show that today. Uh, whatever, Robbie. Um, for those <laughs> who don't know, training, actually, so so we smash the experts button. Bring these guys back on the show. Also, Jeff, we know what you're doing. This is this is your Kelsey Bowl. You want to get the sisters <laughs> each other. This I mean, they're ranked, they're, they're ranked top six. They're allowed to challenge you. Whatever, whatever. No, it's fine. No, I'm happy. I'm I'm happy to play whenever you need me to goose the ratings for you. Um, <laughs> before we get into it, this you know if you're watching already because we announced it on Tuesday, but the folks in here don't know. Uh, All star game voting closed. Uh, Brandon Walker and PFT officially three time All Stars. Uh, congrats to them. Fran, a two time All Star, the leading vote getter. Fran, she blew everyone out of the water. She's a captain. Thank you. Along with Nick. And then congrats to Gia, an all-star. Gia's an all-star. She's played hey, for like two months. Right. Gia, Gia came like sixth in voting, by the way. Yay. Good job, Jay. Thanks. The fans That's came so out. exciting. Three games. Three games uh, that happens in a few weeks. Brandon's going to play Kirk. Uh, PFT, because Fran is leading vote getter, you once again will not be participating in the all-star game, but you do get the all-star label. Great, good. Well, <laughs> you get to go to you get to go on a, on a trip, all star. I don't want to risk injury, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, you get to add the the hundred and thirty seventh patch to your jersey. It's load man- <laughs> load- PFT load management. Yeah, Jeff, can I just can I do what they do in the Pro Bowl and give up my spot, and then you can add it to somebody? That's, like that's what you did. Because okay. guess who fit, get because of you? Guess who's an all star? Uh, Will Compton. Oh, oh God! What are we doing? That's that's way worse than Tyler Huntley getting into the Pro Bowl. Are you serious? Yeah, Will. <laughs> you're you're at the All Star Will Compton. Some are saying that that might cheapen the All Star game, calling the like, whole competition or yeah. just the entire show. Uh, so the All Star Week is is next week. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun to a celebrity mashup off it's thing. Awesome. It's it's gonna be good. It'll be fun. But before we get it's into that, week? what is it? When is it? It's going to be some where we're going to figure it out. It's like, okay. just wanted to make sure. I didn't know if we, that's already been decided. No. <laughs> Scheduling this week already took half Mysterious of my life away. All Star so. week. Yeah. Uh, but, Fran, while you're speaking, we'll get before we get Brandon, he has comments to make. It is the first ever family battle in the history of the dozen. You against your sister. Uh, I mean, I assume no, you, you supported her at Michigan State in the Elite Eight the other day. So maybe some good karma. Gia. It has been, was a longtime fan of the show. She's watched like every match, so she's like she's very good because she's a, a student of the game, and um, <laughs> and she is honestly some maybe better than I am, but that's oh. no, neither here nor there. <laughs> she's Gia. You're also not just caring. You you were not scared of this match. You were just like, oh boy, we're playing them. But you are terrified that we're doing the showdown bonus round. You, you seems as though numbers and math you're not excited about. I am oh, terrible. She is not good with math. Terrible at basic math. And she I'll is admit not that. 
So I'm well, ready maybe, to be really embarrassed. If we go up against each other for one and it's a and it's a what how are you two old giggling are, about over there? How old are these two people combined? Uh oh. <laughs> Brandon's giggling. He can't read. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're just having a laugh. Uh first yeah, ever okay. family battle. Brandon, before we start, I'll let you Definitely make your not comments. Saying you- that- Clemmer looks like he's in an interrogation room right now. <laughs> this is our, this Brandon, is our you office. seem to think that – Brandon, this you said year. if you win today, you seem to think you shouldn't play another match the rest of the regular season. That that Im- impacts your rank. You think the regular season crown should be given to you today. Given? No, it's been earned. I have several thoughts here. Number one, we have the greatest resume in the history of the dozen. That is a fact. Number two, this team that you're making us play against, once again, they're 3-0. and oh. They played three games together. Three, and they're getting a shot at the champs. I say, even if we lose today, which I don't plan to do, we don't plan to lose. Even if we lose, we should probably still be number one. That's what I say. Is the I champion mean, still number games? one if they get knocked out, by the way? Thank you. If, like, based on Brandon's mentality, next, Muhammad Ali should be the heavyweight champion. 24 questions, 12 rounds of trivia, 25th being the bonus round. A winner is the number one ranked team in the dozen. Uh, experts, if you lose, you drop down the number two. Honkers, uh, if you lose, I'm not sure where you'll go. Uh, might get jumped by the baddies, uh, even though you did beat the snot out of them. Uh, yeah, we put up nine. Three, three, yeah, three lifelines, double penny category you want, except for round uh, 10. Already worth two points. And then no, your call a friend that double dip. This, this is not the honkers. I don't know why they keep. Where's keep, Coley? Yeah, Coley's not here. Where's Ben Mintz? That's, that's disrespectful to Robbie Fox. Robbie Fox was a honker before Ben Mintz ever was. We'd like to double celebrity matchup. Okay. Here we, we go. Like First category well. is not that. It's the NBA. This is for the experts. Mashup. Andres Biedrins played nine of his 10 NBA seasons with this West team, averaging 10 rebounds per game from 06 through 09. That's the Warriors. Um, that is the Golden State Warriors. That is our final answer. One to nothing experts off the top. NBA for the honkers. Suck it, Clemmer. Jeff Foster played his entire 13th season career with this East team and from 2004 to 2008 averaged over 8.5 rebounds per game. For the honkers. Christopher? Yeah. I think it might be the Hawks, but I'm not. I'm very – we're talking 10 15%. And I don't want to throw anybody else out there. That's the lowest Ooh. we've heard yet. I was going to say, that's the that's lowest the he's lowest given out. That's we've ever gotten. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's um, all I got. I don't so. want to burn the phone a friend or anything. So if that's no. all you got, let's go with it. I trust you, Clemmer. No, I don't, I don't trust myself here. Hawks. But. Final. Robbie. I see Brandon leaning forward like he's going to steal, which makes me want to change it. Five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three. Say something else. Two. The six. Right, one. Indiana Pacers, final answer. Two nothing. I think I gotta say he didn't get it right, but I didn't hate that strategy from Robbie Fox. That was a great. Yeah. No, he was, was right. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon got very close to the camera. Verified <laughs> yeah. that he was about to say Pacers. I, I had my finger on the buzzer, but he didn't say final. So I, I just like I gotta let him. I gotta let him cook here. Uh, here we go. Next category: celebrity mashup. Do you both want a double? Yes. We want a double theirs as well. Here we, we go. Double <laughs> for, for eight point, yeah, for eight points each. <laughs> the Mondo round. combined twenty seven and zero this season. These two teams in this category. That's, that's well, combined, answer. okay, yeah, yes, twenty four and three, sixteen and zero, sixteen and zero, and eleven and zero. You're eleven and zero in the category. Don't disrespect that. Don't disrespect Here we go. That. This is for the for the experts to make it for nothing. It's Sudeikis on the outside, and Hathaway. Sudeikis and Anne Hathaway. Yep. Uh, Jason Sudeikis, sorry. Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Uh, final. That is correct. Other side to I'm make. Sorry, it. I never get these. I literally, <laughs> I, 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 I literally have never. Got a got so excited. <laughs> I, I know like no celebrities, so yeah. I was shocked to know those. To make it four to two. Sorry, friends. So I. No, no, you're if, good. If you're you're good. Watching, that was an asshole move. You're the all star leading vote getter, so it's like you're not stealing any thunder. That's Laura uh, Dern and Pierce Brosnan. Sorry about the eyebrow correct. on this one. <laughs> correct. That is a strange eyebrow, oh, but unfortunate eyebrow. Is correct. Pierce Brosnan, Laura Dern, final answer. I love Laura Dern. That's Pierce there we Brosnan. Go. That was a very easy. Yeah, that's unfor- That's that's current. That's present day Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, geez. <laughs> He's still yeah. a silver fox. What the hell? No, he is. Pierce he Brosnan is. Lander. 
I mean, he's, he's, he's yeah, he's 007, but... He's Bond. Not, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, Remington Steel, Steel Frozen. Four to two. MLB next category. This is for the experts up four double. to two. Double. This Dominican flamethrower started his career with two 30-plus save seasons for Texas during their World Series runs in 2010 and 2011. Clemmer's shaking his head like he knows it. Yeah, but it's for the experts. Though. Of course he knows it. Mm-hmm. I can see him. Ortiz. He's a right-hander. Incarnacion. He's a, a little light-skinned. Baptiste. <laughs> I've seen him, Clemmer. He's in my mind. Can you tell me who it is? <laughs> do you want to call somebody or do you want to save it? I think his name is John Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, no, wow. I don't know that's, name at all. that's a good bit. <laughs> Frank's out there, but I don't know that Frank will know that. You know, Frank, it doesn't do great on baseball. Is this? Yeah, I don't know who We're probably about to be tied, but I, I think we're just going to. Five. Ah, it just went through my face. Did you Three, see it? Three, two, one. Tell me who it is, Clemmer. I think it's Neftali Feliz. No. All right, I don't have a better guess than that. Jeff, Name we're gonna final answer know. that one. Four to three. Tied right up. Great answer, yeah, Clemmer. Great steal. Yeah. Yeah. After winning I, World I, Series I, as a rookie in 05, the sturdy White Sox had 40 or more saves his next two seasons. Oh, I come on, you know it, Clemmer. It's on. I thought this might time. get ripped before I finished the question, but we'll see. Still a lot of time. <laughs> I see him. He's. <laughs> He's a big fat guy. Oh, uh, Bobby Jenks. Bobby Jenks? I don't know. That sounds that sounds stupid. Jenks. I think it's Bobby Jenks. It sounds like a it, it sounds like a create a player in an MLB game for sure. I think that's but right. But I, I would trust you. My mind. They did lean back is. when you said that. I'm reading their body language this game. They leaned back like they were disappointed when you said that. Like they couldn't steal it anymore. Let's go with that. Bob. We're going to go with Bobby Jenks, Jeff. <laughs> Tied up. Yay, Clemmer. This is the Red Sox at the end of his career. He's a big, fat guy. Clemmer, that was am a, I a fucking that was Am a I a body game. language expert? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, we should stop moving. Yeah. <laughs> Music next category. Music <laughs> next category. This is for the experts. Finchel Earth's 2003 Outcast song. I got this. I got this. Oh, I Walking out that walk door. Out that door. You can walk out that door or walking out that door. I think it's just walk. Can hey. you play it again? Play it again. I think it's walking out that door. I think it's walk. Can we double sip? You can. Yeah. 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 Uh, we're going to go make sure I get it. The, the, what you I can hear it again two more times. You have time. Out that door. No, walking out that door or walk out that door. First one is w- walking out that door, or double dipping, or double biting, whatever you're calling. First it. guest. <laughs> walking out that door. Walk out that door. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, can we listen to it? Really no. What? I totally thought it was walk out that door. Something burnt right now. I think it's something burnt right now. No, let's do it again. She really Five. And it's sad to see Five. me. Four. I don't know. Three. That's what it's. Two. It's got one. Let's say something, Robbie. I don't know. Is, is, it, is it the? It's walk out the door. Oh. oh. Which, you were playing a team that got beat by that earlier in the year, too. They didn't lose, but Gia ran into that problem. Walk, walk, walk out, out the, the door. door. Talking the bodies. The door. I'm pretty sure to put that door. It would have been a hit. That's bad lyricism. Uh, <laughs> make it five to four. Coldplay song. I really thought it was that. But yeah. I'm going to cry. But you want, not but not what you need. But not what you need. I mean, <laughs> yeah, not what you need. Uh, we're going to go, but not what you need. Final answer, yellow card does a better cover than the original. Five to four. The door, that door. Uh, he says double that. dip off the board for the experts there. Does he say Two. the whole time, or does he say that? I think it's just one time he says that. He just says it one time. He says the. 
Okay. Working out that right. door. Sports stadiums, next category. Sports I'm definitely stadium. always saying that. I think I've, I've always said that. You got that. wrong answer, Brandon. Jeff, I've personally said that. <laughs> that is our we, truth. We, we are still double checking, but Spotify and everything has the, so it's. It is the. No, no. We, we will retroactively give a, We've we will retroactively give a point if there is a if there is a okay. I was the. answering the pop punk version. He re-listened. <laughs> it is the emphatically. Sports stadiums next category. Fuck. This is for the experts. All right. All right. I'm sorry. It's okay. We both identify the following as NBA, MLB, or NFL stadium sponsors: Little Caesars, Empower, and Globe Life. Globe Life is baseball. What's in power? Uh, Little Caesars is. Are they all the same? Or is, is, uh, can I ask a question about the format? There, it's it's one per league. Just match right. them up. Globe mm-hmm. Life is definitely baseball. Okay, so I think Little Caesars is NBA. I think. Yeah, because I feel like that's not NFL. Power. I don't know what in power is. That must be a new one or renamed or something. All right, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna go Globe Life as a Major League Baseball. Little Caesars is NBA, and Empower is NFL. And power field at mile high. Oh. Ah. Mm. Tricky. Mm. Arizona. Other side to regain the lead. Identify these stadium sponsors and arenas as NBA, MLB, or NFL. Okay, so NFL is MMT Bank. Okay. Uh, Fiserv must be NBA because MLB is Loan Depot. That's what the Marlins play. So it's NFL, NBA, MLB. All right, I trust that. We're going to go that final answer, Jeff. That's just a bad break. Where are you going Thursday, Clemmer? I'm going to Lone Depot Field Ooh, in Miami, baby. Opening day. Miami Clemmer. To make it six to six again, movies next category. Very cool. This is for the experts. That 2000 rom com. Brendan Fraser plays a geek who sells his soul to the devil, played by Elizabeth Hurley, in exchange for seven wishes. That bedazzled. That's bedazzled. And Elizabeth Hurley, all time performance. All time <laughs> yeah. by her. She's Good still got time. it, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. She does. Uh, that- six to six. Phone a friend. That's in a movie path. that I never heard of till recently. To make it seven to six, going into the bonus round. 2003 rom com. George Clooney plays an elite divorce lawyer who goes toe to toe with a serial divorcee employed by played by Catherine Zeta Jones. Teammates, do we have any thoughts? I don't. I have no clue. I was four years old. I was going to say, Gia was four. Yeah, I was five. <laughs> I was Clemmer? Older. Clooney plays an elite <laughs> Clemmer, I mean, you were 46. Well, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, it's, I, can, I can picture the title. I don't, I don't, it seems like I, it's like something knows, with... Like, I feel Brandon, like you're like freaking me out. Something. He's given a free ad to uh, smile the movie. The only thing that's coming to my mind is failure to launch, <laughs> yes. and I know it's not that. But it's not something it. or a lifeline in? in. Money, uh, money something. Failure to launch. Five. Diane money, needs money. money. Claim. Diane. Three. <laughs> two. Failure to launch. No, no. Intolerable cruelty. Yeah. The Wait, fuck is that movie? Final, Final answer. Movie. Final. The Cohen movie. Seven to six going into the bonus round for the experts. We knew that that was the perfect it era for paper Brandon out. movie questions. And divorces. Time to make the donuts. All right, here we go. Showdown bonus round time. Either going to be a nine to six experts lead or an eight to seven honkers lead. Honkers do have a slight advantage on their lifelines. They have call a friend and double dip. Experts just have their call a friend. Uh, here's how this works. First team to three points gets two points for the entire match. Uh, closest guest battle. You can go over. No price is right rules. Brandon and Robbie will set the lineup one by one. Everybody must go first in the first – must go once in the first three rounds. If we go past round three, anybody can go. If you get it spot on, it's worth two. All right. Okay. Brandon, who do you want to have go first? All right. Well, I assume Robbie will agree with me. We're going to have a sister battle up front. It is going to be Fran on my side. And it'll be a GL. Going down. Okay, here we go. He's going to crush me. What is Probably. Matthew Perry's birth year? Ooh. The year Matthew Ooh. Perry was born. <laughs> That's a fun one. Yeah. If you want, that doesn't count. Can I, I'm, I'm going to write down my guess just because it's fun. 
to play along at oh, home. Okay. I believe the last time these teams, uh, last time the experts played, they had a, a, a Fat Chandler and Celebrity mashup. Okay. Why are we hiding? Well, we can show each other. I need an answer in five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Fran reveal. 1976. Oh, 1976. shit. Via. 1966. Yes. 1966. Ten year difference between the two guesses. The correct answer, 1969. It's one nothing honker. Let's go. Gia wins the Let's back. go, Gia. Yeah. I Let's was go, doing – I was crossing out the twos. Yeah. And the, I did. It's, um, nice. He's older than I thought. Yeah. Brandon. He's yeah, yeah, 18 it's... years old to start friends. Yeah, he's By 10 years older than I am. Brandon. Uh, I doubt that. Who do you is. want? He's 10 years older than you, too, you. Matthew Broderick wasn't – was he on Friends? No. <laughs> what? What? He what? just said Friends. <laughs> it wasn't that, that – was Matthew, Matthew Perry. Perry. Matthew Perry. Oh. I was gonna <laughs> I was, uh, you're way off too. No, I was close. There's no chance Broderick was born in '65. Oh, okay. Anyway, Jeff, uh, when was Matthew Broderick born? <laughs> we'll look it up. In, we'll look it up while you. These next two people are answering. Right. Pft. Robbie, who do you want? Uh, I'll go. Okay, here we go. Total dollar amount. If you had exactly one of each monopoly bill. Total dollar amount if you had exactly one of each Monopoly bill. Nineteen sixty two, Matthew Broderick was born. See, I was close. <laughs> yeah, you were close. Actually. One nothing honkers. I'm not letting Brandon look at my answer, just so you guys know. Oh, whoa. That hurt. Uh need an answer in. I don't know how high it goes. Five, four, three, two, one. PFT reveal. I have seven hundred fifty-six dollars. Seven hundred fifty-six. Robbie Fox. Zero cents. Seven hundred ninety. Jesus Christ. Seven hundred ninety. Very close guesses. The correct answer. Six hundred eighty-six. One to one. One to one. We're tied up. Clemmer okay. versus Brandon. Clemmer yeah. versus Brandon. Uh, I'd like to go for our team. Yes, that was inevitable. Uh, <laughs> the domestic gross for the 2007 live action Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. 2007's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Great movie. Jason Lee, classic. <laughs> I almost asked you a clarifying question, but I didn't because I'm respecting the rules. I used to listen to chipmunksified versions of songs on YouTube. <laughs> I bet your parents yeah, loved it. My mom got really mad at me because I bought all the songs on iTunes. Brandon, you're going to reveal first in three, two, one. How much? I believe the Alvin and Chipmunks made $82 million domestically. Chris Clemmer. $141 million. Correct answer. $217 million, two to one honkers. Fuck you, Brandon. That's Watch America's it. fault. I, I That's agree. not my fault. And the kids loved, loved those movies. 200 million for the fucking. Yeah. And they made Brandon, like eight you... movies. Brandon, who do you uh, want to have Rex? I told the witch doctor he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's Brandon. You call it Brandon. Brandon. All right. Sister battle again. Fran. Right. Oh. If Robbie does it, Robbie can pick whoever he wants. Or we'll go with Gia. Okay. Here we go. Gia friends smarter than you. She's always been you've known ever since you were a little kid. You've yeah. been like wow. I got the first one right. <laughs> I'm so intimidated with friends. The year Walt cool. Disney opened Epcot. The year Epcot opened in Florida. The park Epcot. Yeah, yeah, yeah hang on. Let's compete. That's a tough one. Either gonna be eight yeah, to seven I'm honkers or we tie up and go to round five. Unless somebody gets a dead on. If Fran gets it dead on, the experts take the points. That'd be awesome. Fran, do that. Yeah, no just, one's done that yeah, yet. Just, now that we've instituted this rule, no one's year. Do it. It's the can jam rule. What's he saying? Get it in the slot, you know? Hipster stuff. Yeah. Game over. Yeah. Fran, yeah. reveal first in five, four, God, this is... three, two, uh, one. I, I, 1951. 1951. Ooh. Gia. Good guess, Fran. Reveal. <laughs> 
I don't want to. Come on, Jason. Oh, no. 2002. Oh. 2002. That might be us. Hold on. It's going to be, this is going to be really close. The correct answer is 1982. The Honkers have an eight to seven oh, lead. They were Way to go, Let's Gia. go, Gia. Let's wow. go, Gia. 1982? Let's go. Brand, if it makes you feel better, I have like 58 written down. So. I thought it was like, I thought it was like post World War II. Like, no, <laughs> it was new. <laughs> I could think about the back globe, and I was like, they can't build that. Oh, right also, it's Gia, right Gia, terrible guess. You know mom and dad drank around Epcot on that trip after college. <laughs> that was oh, in the what? 80s. Family history. Uh, yes. I did not know that. Yes, By mom way, and dad I took I was thinking about the big globe. I was thinking about the big Mom and dad took a like... trip with all their friends in the 80s to oh, drink okay. around Epcot. That. Oh, that that's shit. our first ever, I think, bad guess that won a mat. That it was like a bad guess. It was great that she won eight <laughs> to seven. So so I mean, you could guess. Then you can, uh, both are bad guesses. <laughs> yeah. Onkers have yeah. a one point lead. Yeah, this means that Brandon Walker is older than Epcot. I just want to make sure that's no one. <laughs> Fact. College football. College football. This is for the experts. When did Walt Disney die? Well, his, his head's still alive. I hate Jews. <laughs> Hated <laughs> this Pac-12 school has these wide receivers since the year 2000: Jeff Mail, Josh Hush, and Sa- Josh Huff, and Sammy Parker. Jeff Mail was a white guy, and I can see him. Colorado's had a lot of white guys. Uh, I want to say I know I have a guess. Okay, but I don't remember Huff or Parker, but I remember Mail. All right. Um, we're going to go with the Oregon Ducks, final answer. That is correct. Eight to eight. Other side, nine to eight. You have both lifelines remaining that aren't the double. Up, oh, expert two of your call a friend after this. This Big Ten school had these wide receivers since the year 2000. James Hardy, Cody Latimer, and Tandon Doss. We need to call Jack Mack. I don't know. <laughs> They're not even going to talk. This is this is. We're going to call this. Do you want me to call him? You want to get him? Is he in the office? I don't know. I don't know if he's in the office. I told him to put his phone off, do not disturb. So I can, you want me to try calling? You can try calling, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you try because my headphones are Bluetoothed in. It might okay. cause a kerfuffle. No problem. Can I peek my head out, Jeff, and see if he's there? I, I prefer you see if he's there first. Okay, let's do that. Gia, go ahead. I won't call yet until you get back. Brandon's Brandon definitely out there. He's definitely not He's trying to convince Jack not to, he's trying to convince Jack not to answer for us. <laughs> that can't that. happen. <laughs> oh, no, he's definitely not doing that. I hear it. Oh. I, I do, we I know, know he's not reading a book. I hear Jack Max, so he's walking. There he is. Brandon's? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then I was like, why? He's playing right yeah. now. Because Brandon sucks. And then it, it clicked in my <laughs> Brandon tried to sabotage. No, no, he had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> got a weak know bladder. So. All right. Jack Mack. I really think this is Indiana. Okay. You really Indeed. think it's Indiana, you said? Uh, it's what's popping. Brandon my- Brandon oh, just popped up like he's going to steal, so think of something off. else as well. He also said, fuck me. He's I, just trying I don't to think you. Brandon thinks it's Indiana. He might be trying to throw us off, though. He's definitely trying to throw you off. I would maybe go with like what your gut feeling is. Yeah. It's Indiana? Indiana? Indiana. All right, let's go with it. All right, Jeff. Indiana. Nine to yeah. eight. Way to go. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Jack, sorry Thank for you, Jack. that. We've had some you body language issues this game. The, the Brandon uh, thing. You, you said it right away. I'm Indiana. sorry. Yeah, I guess I'm not the expert I thought I was in terms of body <laughs> language reading. Other side. Here we go. To make it nine to nine again, U.S. history. Oh, You're going to sort these events in the order they happened Oldest to newest. I swear to God, if Enron's in here again, Jeff. The experts. So are these three events in chronological order. Waco, Colt Siege, Exxon Valdez oil spill, Nick Toon's debuts with Rugrats and Doug. I think Don't goes, look at me. I'm clearly terrible with dates. Nick Toon's Waco. Because Waco. Yeah, yeah. 93, 91, 89. Yep. Uh, we're going to go Exxon first, Nick Toon's second, mm-hmm. Waco third. Final answer? Yes. Nine to nine. 
to make was it. Was he tenure, right on those exact years? It's pretty close. Yeah, I think you you did get the exact years. Yeah, here we go to make it ten to nine. Should be an extra point. Yeah, Iran hostage crisis, Three Mile Island nuclear accident, match series finale. Okay, so the Iran hostage that ended when Reagan got so that's eighty one. Uh, Three Mile Island, I believe, was in seventy nine, and match series finale was eighty two, eighty three. So uh, in order, it's going to go Three Mile Island, Iran hostage, match series finale. Final answer. Thank you, Chris Clemmer. Yes. And nine, they regain the lead. The oldies. NFL the oldies. next category. NFL next category. This is for the experts. Uh, this is for the experts. What well, AFC team drafted these first rounders in consecutive years? Ryan Matthews, Corey Legit. It's, it's, it's the Chargers. It's the Chargers. Um, yeah, Chargers. Final answer. 10 to 10 to regain the lead, honkers. What AFC team drafted these first rounders in consecutive years? Donald Brown, Jerry Hughes, and Anthony Costanzo. You don't know. You don't know. Don't sh- Brand, don't even look at the screen. Fuck. We- uh, a little bit of lopsided questions here, huh, Jeff? Don't, listen, don't even listen. Don't, stop looking at the screen. Look, look at that cool poster on the wall. Is that a magic eye? That's a magic eye poster. I, I think it might be the – I don't know. I, I, my, my instinct says the Colts, but I could be very wrong. Look at it. Don't look at the screen, Brandon. Don't look at the screen. I mean, do, do you want to try a double dip? Or, yeah, do you want to just say, fuck it, let's try Colts? Like, do you have another one where you're like, it could be Colts or this one? It could be anybody. I mean, we could do double right. dip, and I could just try two wild guesses, really, because even the Colts one's a wild guess. But, I mean, there's only, what, 16 AFC teams, so. And I know some yeah. teams, you know, I don't know. Do you want to double dip, guys, or no? I'm ambivalent. I, I feel like maybe Five. we should save it. Four. Yeah, all right. Three. We're going to guess Colts, Jeff, final answer. Oh, we're going to 11 to 10. Yeah. 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 I will know. That was not on balance. Those were two notable first-round running backs. Oh, yeah. yeah. The other one was way easier. That's crazy, no. Jeff. Oh, they were both no, easy. They were super no, easy. Donald Brown had the one. Uh, David Donald. Oh, David Donald. Donald Brown's in, yeah. Donald Brown. Yeah, no, those are even. Yeah, you, you got job, your points. Plumber. though. Nice pull. To tie it back up. Thank you. Thank you. Where did that come from? Where did what come from? The the guess. Just a guess. The, the names it seemed Colts ish. I don't know why, but it was a guess. I, I was 10, 15 percent. What'd you say? System. Nothing. What'd you say? I don't know. Niche category yeah, time. Yeah. You got something to say, say, say it out loud. I didn't say it. Sublime for the experts. All right. Avengers Endgame for the honkers. Nerd. This is for the experts. Much better movie than Best in Show. Might I add. What sublime song starts with these lyrics? Being your guy is a monster habit. You can hide your love. It's true. Being your guy is a monster habit. You can hide your love. It's true. Under my voodoo. It's under my voodoo. It's a, it's, a, it's a deep, deep track. That's wrong. And he's line. he's playing over on guitar. Final answer. Under my voodoo. Uh oh! Look at his oh, face. Oh no! Final. Yes. Yeah. They have not missed an yet this season. Fourteen and 0, 12 eleven. Oh, geez. oh, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff with his performance art. Here. I, I like. I mean, he kind of flexed by saying it's a deep cut. That's really what I was laughing at. It is. A, it's a. It's probably the deepest cut on that album. First cut is the deepest. Uh, next up, Bang. Avengers Endgame to make it thirteen twelve with two rounds to go. Here we go. What Here phase two antagonist stops two thousand twelve Thor and Tony Stark in the lobby during the New York flashback and asks for the Tesseract? Pierce, right? Guess. Yeah, it's the, the secretary the, Pierce. Yeah. No. He goes. My friends the... call me the secretary. He's with okay, Matthew so Barry. This is during that. the Matthew Barry cameo scene. We're going to go Pierce, final answer. Guy... Secretary Pierce, I'll take. That's correct, 13 That's to 12. Order. Two rounds left. Nice job, nice job, Experts have their call a friend. Honkers have their double dip. Oh, I was thinking about the elevator. No. Oh, yeah, Sorry. when he does the Hail Hydra. Yes. Next category yes, is supermarket saying. sweep. Supermarket okay. sweep. Oh. This is for the experts to tie it back up. Name the two blank supermarket products. 
Toll House on the left and Toll Ocean House Spray. and Ocean Spray. Yeah. Toll House and Ocean Spray. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, you're good. I know it's Ocean Spray. I'm, Toll I'm House like and oh, Toll House Cookies. That's okay, 100%. Right. Toll okay. House and Ocean Spray. Final yeah. answer. Tied back up. 13 all. To regain the lead going into the final round. Name the two products. History. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think I know the first. Uh, and Keebler? I think that was what I was thinking too. We're going to go. Gia, do you have any uh, objections? I, yeah, I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I'm, We're going to go Keebler and Sweet and Low, Jeff. Final answer. That is correct. 14 13, final round. The team who gets this, if the experts, you get two points, you're number one. Honkers, you get one point, you're number one. Simple as that. Television. For the experts, if you get this, you stay alive. Who did Fox slide into the judges' table on American Idol in 09 when Paula Abdul left the show following contract negotiations? Was it J Lo? J Lo is my first instinct. It is this is this is missing part of the question. Hold on one second. Okay. This should say what television personality did Fox slide into the judges table on American Idol in 2009 when Paul Abdul left the show following contract negotiations? Was it he It wasn't Piers Morgan, right? No, it was this lady. Fuck. What was her name? Describe it her. Wasn't, it wasn't for jail yet. She was like a she was like in the music industry. God, so oh. Maybe Not started Carol. with like a with like a C dark hair. Carol King? Why'd you say Carol King? Should I we call know. Ken Jack? I, I just is he an American Idol guy? I don't know. He watches screens. You need to either call someone or answer in We're gonna Nick. We're gonna Nick. We're gonna Nick Durani. All right, he's gonna get Nick. For the first time in the okay. history of the dozen, Nick is being called. Nick has never yes. been called on this show. It's Nick is a great. massive American Idol fan. Colin Kenjack would have been the biggest whiff of all time. We will see if this pays off. All right. Nick is a massive American Idol fan. Unbelievable American Idol fan. Oh, went to the Nick, the Nick went to the live tours of American Idol contestants. Oh, I did too, though. I, th- hey, he doesn't have that much on me. I did that. <laughs> I would consider you a massive American Idol fan then if you did that. My mom worked at the arena. It was free tickets. Oh, okay. Saw Taylor Hicks live. Hell yeah, Soul Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff loves Taylor Hicks. Taylor Hicks, Catherine McPhee. She married an Soul old Soul Patrol were his fans. Yeah. I hear fighting. I hear, yeah, I hear hillbilly screaming. <laughs> Nick has been taking a lot of pride in the fact nobody called right. him. I'm in the office, so I got to call him. Okay. He, That's and allowed. Ran left that is allowed. Phone and he left. He better have. Outcast. Doesn't matter. They're going to get the last question. What the fuck is her name? Diane. <laughs> the first time you did a phone, Brandon? What do you have to label it? Second KB. <laughs> hey, uh, the dozen. Phone a friend. Yeah. All right. This is a TV question. All right. You ready? Wait. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I got to throw you guys. You're, you're live on anus, too. Okay, cool. Uh, here's a TV question. Who did Fox slide into the judges' table on American Idol in 2009 when Paula Abdul left the show following contract negotiations? What TV personality? It's not in... What TV personality did Fox slide into the judges' table on American Idol? TV personality. Yeah, think like Ricky Lake, Oprah, Ellen. No, no, uh, no, 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 it's just me. It's just me. It's just me. Not, oh, oh, fuck, dude. Um, is this... Is it someone named Carol? Well, she, she's a singer, so I don't think it's her. Was it Ellen? I don't know. Oh, Oprah Ellen might not be bad. I kind of think it might have been Ellen. Need something I in. I... Nick, go well, Nick's got go Nick has to hang up. Say something, Nick. Go, Ellen. go with Ellen. Five. Ellen DeGeneres. Final Four. answer. What? Ellen DeGeneres. DeGeneres. Tied up. 14 14. That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> Honestly, the yeah. only reason that rang any bells was because Brandon just started naming television personalities. And when he said Ellen, I was like, I actually think it was Ellen. Ricky Lake? 
There was a I had the qualifier was important there. This next one is a qualifier as well. Here it is for the right, win. Jeff, I, have, Jeff, I have a question before you and so if we use if we save the double dip, can we use that in overtime or no? No. Good How question. You We've never had the opportunity, so that is a very good question. No. Okay. But you obviously narrow things down if you use it here. So it's strategy. You may not want to use it. Up to you completely. You do not have to use it. Honkers, you get this. It's over. You're the number one team in the dozen. Experts slide down the number one. You miss it. They get a chance to steal. Joining Piers Morgan and Sharon Osborne, what actor did Howie Mandel replace as a judge for America's Got Talent in 2010? You have double dip. If you get it, it's over. If you miss it, experts can win. If not, we are going to overtime. I have no idea. Neither do I. Piers Morgan and Sharon Osbourne. What actor did Howie Mandel replace? If you can picture him or you know anything he's in, Gia, like drop hints and. I need to talk to him. Wait, we can't. I need to talk to him. What? Brandon, What's he doing? He's he can't screwed. do that. No, no, no. What's he doing? Sit, sit, you can sit see him in the it's mirror. Sit down. The deal. Sit, sit fuck down. <laughs> I, was like, I love that from Clemmer. Sit the fuck down. Happen. I don't want Ten to get seconds. Know, guys. I can only pick an old guy, and he was mean, and he had white hair. Give and he something has a... in. I don't know, guys. Give me just a hair. I'm giving you a hair extra time because I did on the previous one because we had the question snafu. I don't know. I really don't know. Five, four. Who would have been a judge three, on the show? I have no idea. Two, two, one. Out of time for the win, experts. Do you guys have any idea? Actors throwing me off. Howard Stern was on there, but I don't think Jeff would call him an actor. I know. But Howard Stern was definitely on there. He was, but I think he was on later. Five, four, three, two. I just guess Howard Stern. One. Howard Stern. We go to overtime for number one. It was the Hoff, David Hasselhoff. David oh, Hasselhoff. Oh, fuck. Damn. Overtime, get your pens and paper man. back man. out for number one. Oh, please, let me go first. Uh, Brand, I think I was thinking yeah, yeah. of Lenny. We, we won't stop, we won't stop, we won't stop. Can we, stop. Can we take a time out? Because yeah. Brandon's trying to communicate. I got to talk. I, gotta I, don't, talk. I don't know what he's saying. Jeff, I got to talk to you. What? I, I went out there, and as I was walking back in, somebody said Alan. So I did not get it from Nick. So I don't want to use it. Who said it? What? I went what? out there. I was looking for Nick, and I said, "Who replaced?" Uh, I just said it out loud in the office. I said, "Who oh. replaced?" Uh, oh, oh, you asked Brandon. for an answer. <laughs> you asked for an answer from the <laughs> office. I'm, I'm telling you, I was going looking for Nick because I was around the corner. I was like, "Who? Who replaced uh, Paul Abdul?" And Paul I Abdul. knew it. Why would you? You yell fucking that? cheated. Okay, that's what I'm telling you that I did. I'm telling you right now. Scratch it. <laughs> It sounds to me what like Brandon, it sounds to me like Brandon was talking to himself. Correct. As he was, posing. I was not. I was not. I was not trying and to he, do it. And he heard the answer, and he's raising his hand, saying, "I, I was not trying to ask the whole office for the no, answer. No, 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 it was no, no, a total no, no, mistake. No, no, no. I fell no, into. I, it. I fell no, into asking no, the whole office for the answer. You know what this is? This is the commercial where the kid says, "Coach, uh, coach, I touched it when it went out. I of fucked bounds. up. I fucked up. I shouldn't have taken it. A mockery of the game. I would have found this out. He's not." that like philanthropic i would have known this when i went back out in the office someone would have told me this sports that's what happened sportsmanship so here's a, here's, here's what here's that's what, what i'm the option to this is either no, no, over no, no. The hoppers I, the number one ranked team the that doesn't, I, or they can choose to play in overtime no 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 overtime i i fuck, i took a question that I, I did not know the answer to to me it seems cut and dry who I was think it that, who gave you the answer I, katie stats i think we'll be <laughs> I think we'll be the bigger team in this situation because uh, he win you know, like this. This sucks. Why did you do this? I, I, I said we did not want to win by DQ in the beginning I, of this match. We okay, said we didn't want to win by DQ. Uh, he's trying uh, to win by DQ so they I, keep I the like title. The oh, title changes his hands on DQ with the title. Can, can I throw an option out there? Yes. They were leading by one going in the final round. Why can't we play the final round again? With what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's got to be questions out there in the dozen universe. This fucking guy. 
I, made a mess I, of the whole game. I, you know what? Next time, I'm just not going to say anything. This Jeff, was one of the best games in the dozen history. You, you shouldn't say the answer to your question. You shouldn't say anything. That's right. You ain't the victim. You ain't the victim. I'm this, not the – This is this as simple as this. He just admitted to getting an answer. Yeah. You yeah. pulled Katie stats in. That was stupid on your part. I know. I. Yeah, I guess I should have. But no, when because I went you committed to Nick. I was looking for Nick. You – I took an answer. This, it's, this I, is in my book – it's over, but I'm giving the Honkers the option. They don't want to beat them by DQ. I, why can't we win? It, it, it should be over. I, that's, that's it's that not DQ. in a weird spot, obviously. It's, it's really spot. not yeah, DQ. I don't want to win like this. It's, it's really like, not DQ. We got the – like, we would have gotten that wrong, and you guys would have gotten it right. Would have and then yes. would have been and Did Nick and then know we missed, we missed I couldn't really school. hear Nick, to be fair, so I don't really know what Nick said. I think Nick said go with Ellen. When I put Ellen in his mind. Yeah, yeah. So Brandon listened to but Brandon named a bunch of people and I said Ellen's, Ellen's name. Just, and when just, Nick heard when Nick heard Ellen and when I heard Ellen, we were both like, oh, go with Ellen. It's it is not it is not the expert's decision. As far as I'm concerned, I I'm think giving I'm hold on, hold on. Think, it's my call I here. I'm giving I think we should lose. I'm, you 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 are not this is not yours to win right now. The if the, Hawkers, the, if the Hawkers want to accept that from Brandon, it's over. They've won. If they want to go to T, they can choose to go to T. But as far as I am concerned, they've won the match. You did not get David. I Hassel. say fuck it. Let's just take the W. Like I just, why risk it? If we go to overtime, Brandon can be suspended from overtime as well. No, that's not even a question. Brandon will not play in overtime if you go to overtime. I, I, what, what do you want me to do? No, you were honest. You, you was honest. really. <laughs> he I mean, was honest. Can, he was honest. They can argue but about it, but if we were to do it. If yeah, but if we're gonna do an overtime, and if we were to win the overtime, it wouldn't it wouldn't feel like we actually won. It just we you we yeah. would have lost because we lost. We would be, we'd be rewarded for getting an answer that wasn't ours. At Correct. That point. So to me, it's cut and dry. I think I think the experts we take this. It's like an overtime hockey loss, kind of. It's not. It's a regular loss. It's a regular it's a regular <laughs> loss. And what it is, listen. I think this puts us in a weird spot, obviously. If it makes us the heel, I'm okay being the heel. This right here, this right here is a paper crown that you guys wore for a while and you no longer wear. <laughs> Brandon was one of the all-time bananas move. I mean, I'm in shock. I don't know how it's bananas. I'm telling you what happened. I walked out there. He didn't ask Katie Stats I the said answer. the question out loud because I thought, I, I thought the, Nick was over there. That's the part. That's, that's the, the issue. Part. That's what you can't that's do. That's the issue. You said the question out loud. Okay, well, I did, and then somebody answered it, and I was like, God, I can't use that. And oh, no, I, shit, I, you did, and you said, you said Alan on the phone. People, why are you so fucking mad? Because now we I'm win you what I your bullshit way. We would have won this, honestly. It would have been awesome, and now it has okay, this sorry. Would, because you're asking questions to a large group of people for no fucking reason. That's why. What? What is this? It was I really hear him through Gia's awesome. mic. We're I can really hear him I also through the window, through the door. Sorry. Robbie, it's your call ultimately. Game over. We we were game over. We win. Number one ranked team in the dozen is the big screaming honkers. They are five, three, and oh. Yippee. They have not lost. They have not lost since the trade. The experts slot down to number two. The honkers, you can be challenged by anybody in the top six at any time for the number one spot. We'd like to challenge them. <laughs> you can't. The experts have to wait two turns. Why not? We in beat order everybody. Them. Let's have a. Why not? We beat everybody. Yeah, well, now everybody. all of those wins are in question. No, they're not. I told you what happened. I told you what happened. The experts will have a chance Brandon to challenge the crown. The experts can challenge again soon, but they cannot be the next team to challenge. I assume that's going to be ZD. That why be not? Guess. Why not? I, I think we should have a meeting and talk about them potentially never being able to challenge for the title ever again. Seems only fair. So I don't we'll talk that. tomorrow, Jeff. We'll talk tomorrow. What a what a controversial ending to this one. Oh, my God. The win. Next time, I'm just going to cheat. Next time, I'm just going to cheat. I'm going to no, be like, why is that? Don't ask everyone. Next time, don't time I'm not going to be that guy. Don't do this, bro. <laughs> What did you do this time? What would you have done? I, I okay, before we go, if about. you would have gotten Hasselhoff, what would you have done? Same thing? Just been like, hey, we got to go to OT? No, yeah. I, I was I, – I, during their question, I was like so, – So Brandon wrote down on a piece of paper, they told me the answer, and he was that's why he was pacing because he's like, I heard that answer out there. He was already self-reporting that he had heard it. So if we had gotten Hassel, Hasselhoff, I think we just take it to overtime. 
Yeah. Brandon, I'm disappointed. I don't black know Young's black oh, no. mark on Brandon Walker's oh, no. season three resume. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's gone. Oh, wow. But but he knew exactly what he did. That was that was a he knew exactly uh, what he did. Brandon, Damn. that hurts Brandon, the most Brandon. being told by Fran like I'm yeah. disappointed in you. That I mean he knew exactly what he did. Good con congrats guys. Thank you. Uh, the are number one. Honorable wow. Players, always. Next you. week is the All Star Week. Details and schedule to follow. I think they might be on the screen right here. We'll probably figure it out by Thursday. Shut boy, up. are people gonna be? Boy, people are gonna be mad at Brandon. Oh my God! Oh, yikes! Yeah. <laughs>